Hi, this is Matt from tracymatt.co.uk and this is the Ubiquio 401. We decided to have a look at the Ubiquio 401 because it seems to be a device that's somewhat overlooked and uh, little known. So we thought we'd have a little unbox and uh, do a little review later on. But here's the device, which we'll have a look at in more detail in just a moment. We'll have a look what else is in have, have a strap here. And Vicrio Getting Started CD with Active Sync and Outlook 2002. Also, in the box, we have an adapter for using your own 3.5mm headphones because the 401 has a custom plug for the headphone socket. We also have a quick start guide. pair of headphones which have, as I mentioned, a custom proprietary connector. This set is actually a wired headset with an inline microphone with a button for answer and release calls, although there would appear no volume control. And these are pretty standard looking headphones, nothing terribly exciting, um, probably not terribly high quality, but there they are nonetheless. Finally inside the box we have a mini SD card, 256 meg, with a mini SD to SD adapter. Okay, we continue to have a look at the device. It has a 2.4 inch display, which is 240 by 320 pixels. It's uh, actually a 260k colour display. The device weighs only 153 grams including the battery. If you look on the side, we have a socket for the mini SD card and a socket for the headphones under a rubber cover. On the other side we have a camera button and a jog dial. This is a spring loaded up down rather than a 360 round and round but it also does press in. On the front you have your standard soft keys, uh, D-pad control, and send and end phone keys along with Windows, uh, menu and OK buttons. Power buttons on the top. On the back we have a 2 megapixel camera with macro and standard shooting modes and a stylus in the bottom because Despite this device form factor, is actually Windows Mobile 5 with touchscreen rather than smartphone. Only on the bottom is a cover over the mini USB connector for sync and charge. This device slides open to a T9 style keypad with fairly large keys, which are quite nice. Overall design is quite quite uh, attractive. It is a little chunky perhaps, but it's fairly lightweight. Um, other specification we have on this device, it has a 416 MHz processor which is quite unusual for a device of this type, it's quite a powerful processor. It does only have 64 MB of ROM and 64 MB of RAM, but it does have a built-in FM radio which is quite nice. Bluetooth uh, is included along with Wi-Fi, uh, GPRS, it is a tri-band phone. So this is quite a, a nice looking device. The specification is, is fairly high and you can actually pick this device up for an amazing 100, well under £120 in fact from Expansys. So it's one of those devices that's well worth a look if you're looking for a budget device. Certainly one that would compete quite favourably with the HTC Oxygen. We'll be using the Ubiquio 401 over the next couple of weeks and uh, our review will be online shortly.